Hi, my name is Tracy Tetahama Espinosa, and this is a module on instructional design, putting your classes online in the best way possible. We're going to first begin by defining instructional design. What does that really mean? Don't we always do instructional design when we're teaching and learning? But what does this mean in the online context? Then we're going to talk about the steps that are necessary in creating great online classrooms based on guidelines from the Association for Educational Communications and Technology. And they are the oldest organization for instructional design and online learning, but that doesn't mean that they're the best, but we're going to use those as kind of guidelines and jumping off points to talk about different steps that are needed or different types of standards and criteria that we can use to structuring an online course. And then to help us, because we know that one of the best ways to speed up learning is to have a worked example. So if you see a model of something, it's always easier to sort of edit down and decide what you like and don't like than to start from scratch. So I'm going to share a model of a highly evaluated course that's recognized by the students as sort of being a 5 over 5 class for instructional design. So we'll use that as kind of a jumping off point for structuring your own classes. And the whole way through what we're really looking for are what are the elements that you want to incorporate? How do you want to leverage the use of technology to be able to offload some of those things that are sort of housekeeping stuff so that you can have more time in your class to work with your students and do those things that only people can do, that very human side of teaching. So we're going to try to find ways to leverage this in the best way possible to have the best personalized experience we can. Looking forward to seeing you in class.